Nigeria has, within the last two decades, succeeded in building state-of-the-art infrastructure, translating into hundreds of kilometers of highways and gigantic bridges across the Niger and Bainway. This could not have come without key inputs from the supervisory pool of the ministry. To keep the team of controllers and directors of works on their toes, back to class they were sent with ethics in the construction industry leading the cost outline. When the minister came in, he made a few notes of areas that he wanted to make sure that the personnel that carries out most of this project construction and supervision, they are able to come up with the necessary level of ethics in engineering to enable them to carry out those uh, functions. Supervision is critical. If you award a contract and there's no uh, proper supervision, you are not going to uh, get value for money in the project. So what we are going to do and what we are going to emphasize is that there should be proper procedure for supervision of projects. And we'll do the, uh, the, the discussion and uh, come up with uh, the best procedures. As engineers, we know that Training and retraining is a lifelong endeavor. Our profession demands for that. With an interactive session revealing, a take home comes handy. Number one, the presenters, the, the people who are the resource persons, are well experienced people in this profession and in this field. They have seen a lot, they have consulted. Some of them are both on the side of the professional aspect and the political aspect. So they know where the problems are. Resource persons were drawn from the Association of Consulting Engineers of Nigeria.